All right. Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to Empowering Morning Conversations. And as we step into another nice Sunday, I wish that it becomes a wonderful, relaxing, meaningful Sunday for all of you. Now, as I keep saying to you, and I will keep saying to you, you are a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being, and you deserve to be loved and respected for who you are. And keep working to start believing that you are. So there's a lot of work you might want to do so that you can start believing that you're a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being. See, sometimes the world can see you for what you are, but you may not. Now, the problem is you will treat yourself the way you see yourself. Let me repeat that. The way you treat yourself, the way you see yourself is the way you will treat yourself. And the way you treat yourself is the way you will treat others. And the way you treat others is the way they'll treat you. So it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Problem with human beings seems to be that they are so much aware of their weaknesses. They are so much aware of what's missing and what's wrong with them that they very rarely get to see what's great about them. Because whether you like it or not, you are a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being. And you deserve to be loved and respected for who you are. So before the world starts believing it, <clears throat> we have to start believing it. So what energy, space and consciousness can you be that would allow you to believe that you're a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being? And anything that comes in the way of that, times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, then yes, right and wrong, good and bad, poor and poor, oh, nice shorts, boys, poor bands and beyonds. What energy, space, consciousness can you be that would allow you to believe that you are a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being? And anything times a godzillion that comes in the way of that, would you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, poor and poor, oh, nine shorts, boys, poor bands and beyonds. And when you start working, so if you remember the formula that I've introduced to you, formula says capital P is equal to small p minus i. Capital T means the performance required to do anything. Small p means the potential that you have. And i is the interferer that does not allow you to operate at your full potential. So if you want to start believing that you are a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being, you will have to keep working to remove the interferers that prevent you from believing who you truly are. So every morning when we come here, we are giving you some tools to remove your interferers, right? And when you do that, then you can have a life of ease, joy, and glory. You can be powerful, effective, and start believing in yourself. Unfortunately, sometimes circumstances make you lose sight of who you really are. So today, it's my great pleasure to welcome a dear friend of mine, who is going to talk to you on something which will help you to start believing that you are a wonderful, magnificent, and an extraordinary human being. So over to my dear friend, Mr. Rama. So everybody has to do namaskar and welcome properly. If Rama is, Ram is coming in front of you, you have to touch his feet also. Dandavat Pranam. Thank you very much, Rama. So over to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good thank morning. you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning everyone. So today, uh, as Sir explained, uh, let's explore on the strength-based or weakness-based. 
what is that our focus? So that's the more uh, in, in the spirit of EMC. So we will have a conversation on that. So that's the idea today. So my question is, the first question is, why are we all coming here to EMC? What attracted us to come on a day-to-day -day basis? Why are you here? The energetic Deepak says, the speech is attracting us. Yes. The energetic speech, that's yes. what it's Yes, the energy, yes, definitely the energy and the uh, aura and the approach of Sukhdi Paksa, definitely, yes. Yes, sir. Lady Garu, please go on. Daily make me to live in the present moment. Yes, to be in the present moment. So you get that kind of uh, presence here. Yes. Yes, Shakti. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. For me, I have learned a lot of tools and techniques, but this is the place, a quick reminder for me to be uh, use the tools, right tools at the right time. Also, uh, it gives me a uh, start my day in creation mode. All right. So, so we learn, you learn tools and techniques and um, uh, move away from the default mode to creative creation mode. Yeah, All right. Thank you. Yes, Abu Bakr. Yeah, good morning, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, while coming here uh, in busiest world, I am spending time for me, I feel. And also, I can read my uh, my inner Abu Bakr, what I am, where I am. So this uh, some energy I'm getting from this year, uh, this uh, from, from EMC. That's why I'm always attending this uh, this uh, session. Thank you. Great, great. So one is the energy. The other one is this is a time to reflect on or spend time on ourselves. Yes. So always our time is spent on others. So this is the precious time which we can spend on ourselves. Yeah, very well put, uh, Abu Bakr. Thank you. Yes, sir, Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, sir, uh, let me start a uh, question with, uh, when are you going to believe that you are a wonderful magnet and extraordinary human being? I perceive in such a way that attending EMC is a sign of that we started to believe. It's a sign of belief that we are into this process. And yes. we are all very sure that we will be safe. Thank you, sir. Over yes, thank you, Vettri. Like um, uh, Sukhdev Paksar always um, affirms that each one of us are wonderful, magnificent, and extraordinary people who deserve love and respect as we are. So we are all here to really realize that uh, actual potential. Thank you. Thank you, Vettri. Yes, Vankteshji. Actually, it sets my alarm clock like uh, the start of the day. Like uh, otherwise, uh, being retired and all, we don't have that on purpose, like getting up or doing. And it's a group of uh, uh, good uh, thinkers. Like uh, all of us think differently and on the same subject here and exchange our views. And it's a best way to start the morning like meeting you people all so it is more like meeting all people here that sets my day thank you right thank you so so if you really listen to every one of uh, you uh, so it, we are all coming here because there is something positive something attractive something uh, strong something good uh, we see in uh, uh, other people and us as well but in real life, what are we doing? Let's say, uh, you no, know, in your uh, work or in your personal environment, what's your focus? Are you more focused on either you or your team? You no, know, whether the team is being your professional team or your uh, uh, family team. Where is your focus? Are we because if you really look at it, traditionally we are uh, exposed or taught to look at your weakness and improve on that, right? Is, is, it, is it not something we do in the office as well as in the house and in personal life and work life? Sir, 
Sir, I focus on my business most of the time. Right. I, I apply same in both personal life and business life. I, I, I don't uh, discriminate it. Whatever I learn and I try to put into use in both ways. If I am using uh, some tool about focusing and whatever it is, I, I, I do for both in my family life or both in my business. That's great. That's that's how it should be. Even though we have the artificial distinction between work and life, in reality, I think these are all connected and it is one. So the question is, uh, what is the what is our default more or typical way of uh, treating the people or treating ourselves in terms of weakness and strength? Where is our focus? Our focus is always on survival. Right. Yeah. Because at the moment, whatever the situation comes, we will try to survive as a human being. Right. Right. So why are we coming to EMC? Are we coming here to for a survival purpose? No, that, that's what. That's what I'm saying. We are learning the tools and trying to apply. Uh, that's what I said, living at the moment. Uh, once you know that what you believe, what you judge is not, uh, uh, that is only the point of view, then definitely at least you are conscious enough uh, not to react or resist. That's all. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ridigaru. Yes, uh, Kunanji, after that, Malika, ma'am, and Shant, ma'am. Yeah, very good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you so much. Uh, normally, uh, what I have learned from my corporate uh, experience is that uh, our habit is to look into weaknesses and uh, strength and work more on weaknesses to, to improve it while we ignore uh, our uh, strength. But uh, having discussion with Sukhdeepak, sir, and uh, attending uh, EMC and all, I have started realizing that um, we must focus on our strength and further build on their strength so that we become more stronger. Normally, I do with my team within my company. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Gunanji. Yes, that's the default mode. We are all into the society, into the work environment, into the family that look at the weakness and put a lot of effort in improving it. Right? So, yeah. That, that's the right observation. Yes. So, thank you, Gunanji. Yes, Malika. My understanding that is while I uh, come for a deeper session, uh, usually I used to analyze my strength and weakness, but I learned how to apply strength to overcome my weakness. That's what is my understanding and my learnings. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Great. That's really good. Yes, Shanti, ma'am. Good morning. Actually, whenever we meet people, uh, we are just want to critically judge them. We are not appreciating the strength because we ourselves are looking at our own uh, uh, weaknesses. So, we are searching for the same kind of weaknesses in other people. We want to critically judge them. We don't want to appreciate their strength because we, because we are not appreciating our own strength. So this is the default mode, finding fault, always finding fault, finding fault with ourselves or finding fault with the other people. Instead, if we look at the our strength, and look at the same thing from other people and appreciate the strength, we can easily get into the creative. Exactly, exactly. Yes, you really put it very well, the way the state of affairs are. Thank you. Yes, Neetan ji. Uh, I just wanted to leave a request. Uh, Hasina ji is trying to log in. She's having difficulties. So in case the entry is locked, please allow her. She's attempting three, four times to enter the session. Uh, Vetri, could you 
no Please make no. an exception no no she must be trying the today's uh, yeah i have told her about the passcode and she is attempting because he, for me also it took about 3 4 attempts with the passcode to be able to get it so there is a little bit of a glitch so she is attempting just uh, my request to allow her to enter the session thank you her me also it asked password but it works so in a first time complete sir she has to put that password which is sir not required she can try the old uh, link yeah that is also fine okay so can uh, neeti ji could you send the old link uh, let her use that i'll put i'll pay put the new link sir Next. yeah okay. yeah so as i think most of us are aware that our focus by default goes into finding the weakness and improving on that whether it is ourselves or others right so in reality what does it help improve putting a lot of effort in improving the uh, area of weakness or focusing on strength and utilizing that to the advantage so what's your real experience See, theoretically we may understand because we are all coming here we are listening to uh, sir and uh, no other uh, great people here uh, theoretically we may understand but practically what's happening in our life so are we able to make that change and really put it into uh, practice in day to day life could you please reflect on that and see i think the first step of even to recognize that our focus is more on weakness and you no know, problems and not on the strength and improving it that in itself is a great improvement no question about it now that we really understand that so what is the next step are we focusing on the strength are we utilizing the strength to the appropriate level so of course the weakness should not be such a uh, level that it really stops you doing anything so that is not acceptable there you have to really focus on weakness and keep that as the uh no um uh, kind of a yeah, level where it is not stopping you to do whatever you want to do but the overall the focus while we theoretically understand that focusing on strength is going to give a lot more advantage than improving the weakness what is our real life experience on a day to day basis could you reflect on that and uh, share share what's your experience please Yes, sir. Uh, Ramaji, I have a question which is slightly uh, other aspect of the same question, but still relevant. I have this personal problem. I want uh, you and the experts advice. When we speak about strength and weakness, no, I my mind normally works in such a way that I'm easily able to find out other weaknesses. But when I see on myself, no. it is always not very good at finding weakness in me to work not to get just depressed or disappointed but awareness should be able to tell me that this is where you lack something or not it is a, why it is always external it is not internal i just want your advice yeah it's it's always easy to find uh, others fault but finding our own fault even though like uh, shanti ma'am said we also find our own faults uh but it is easy to find others faults um so that's that's because our focus is always external right so we don't um, uh, really focus internally by default our focus all our senses all our five senses are designed to focus outside right that is basically for survival all these five senses are there for survival so we have to use other internal a uh, focus strength also that is what we are learning here on how do we focus how do we meditate how do we uh, really bring the attention to our own, our control after that we can do that uh, internal reflection as well so that is one part the other part is that you already know that not, there are so many weakness inside you are afraid of seeing that so you are, you are basically you no know, your your fear doesn't allow you to really look at it you know already that it is there but you don't want to articulate it because 
you are afraid of seeing so many faults within yourself. So these are the two things uh, uh, I think I can think of. Perfectly. Yes, uh, Konai. And also, Ramaji, I would like to add on to this. Uh, uh, what I have realized in my life uh, is uh, because of lack of clarity of my purpose of my existence. So if I'm not clear why I'm existing in this world, what exactly is the outcome or the results I am uh, striving for? Then I'll be clueless uh, instead of finding on my strength and improving further uh, so that I can accomplish whatsoever desires I have. My attention goes somewhere else in finding faults and doing something which is not productive at all. So clarity of the purpose, complete understanding of the outcome or the results what I'm expecting with respect to my desires will help to further focus on the strength and make it more stronger. That's what I believe, sir. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. So if we understand what's the purpose of our life and what's the priorities in our life, it's relatively easy for us to really focus on that and uh, you know, use our strengths rather than um, just looking at the day-to-day -day things or the transactional things that may not allow you, us to really improve or use the strengths very well. Yeah, finding the purpose and goals of life is very important for us to use the strength. Yes, thank you. Yes, uh, Reddy Garu. Yes, sir, uh, what I feel is uh, identifying our strength is also more important. Why? Because even in corporate life, we do SWOT analysis. So first is we identify our strength. It's also more important, sir. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So identifying the strength, using the strength. Yeah is much more productive and much more effective than identifying the weakness and keep improving on that and then performing. So it is disproportionate. Yes. With uh, a fraction of effort, you can use the strength and achieve a lot more than putting a lot of effort on improving on the weakness area and then uh, you know, performing and produ producing. That's, that's the reality. Thank you, sir. But our, our survival approach always forces us to focus on the weakness rather than strength, right? So we need to make that shift. I think that is why we are all here to really learn that. So when Sar says that you, each one of us are wonderful, magnificent and extraordinary human being, which is true, right? But are we able to really acknowledge that are we able to really find that within ourselves? And what stops us identifying our strengths? And how do we find our strengths? Okay, let's focus on that. How do you find your strength? Appreciating our own successes in life. Yes. Yeah, acknowledging and appreciating. Yes. But that doesn't happen normally, right? Even though you have a strength, you don't acknowledge and appreciate it. Why? We think it's granted. Yeah, one is it is granted. Second, we always compare. Oh, no, no, compared to my strength, somebody else's strength is much more. Right, so the comparison, True. that doesn't matter. Somebody else may have similar strength or more strength, that doesn't matter. But for you, that strength is of great value in your context, right? So that understanding, acknowledging and appreciating is very important. But the comparison comes into the picture and we really uh, don't do these things and devalue the whole thing. Yes. Thank you, Ridigal. Yes, Shakti. Also, try something new. Get out of the comfort zone. Go and try something new. Then we will identify our strength. Yes. Absolutely. In our bubble zone, we cannot do that. Yes. When you really go out of your comfort zone, 
it is easy to identify your strength because in the new environment, you will automatically demonstrate your strength and you know, uh, do something great. Yes, that's right. Going out of comfort zone is one way of identifying the strength and acknowledging and experiencing. Yes, thank you. Sir. Yes, Vicky. Sir, uh, I just want to put the direction from the Sakti said. How to identify strength is going beyond the comfort zone. Uh, one point I would like to emphasize is going beyond our own internal dialogues. Like, is it okay? Can we express now what they will think? Like kind of a negative talk or kind of a default talk if we go beyond. One live such example is our uh, great member Hasanaji was struggling to log in due to some technical thing. She approached Nitiji, Nitiji suddenly express like she must join, somebody help. Then I guess uh, Sakti jumped in and helped and everybody sent and finally Hasanaji is able to be inside. So to make this happen, this is the end result. To make this happen, if Nitiji was thinking kind of little bit, it wouldn't have happened. So identifying strength is without the internal negative dialogue, just expressing what you feel at the time. So just start of adding to it. Uh, Absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a live example that, yeah, she could have kept quiet saying that, yeah, let her try on our own or why unnecessarily disturb what's going on here or others. Uh, but then that's the strength of helping others and making sure that people are, people are all really there. Uh, that really came out clearly, yes. So how do we identify the strengths? How do you identify your strength? Yeah, Abhinav here, good morning. Good morning, Abhinav. I think one good idea is to ask others, people in your life, what is my strength? Exactly. exactly. They will tell you. Yes. <laughs> Very difficult to identify yourself. Yes. But you know, and if people ask me what is my, uh, my what is their uh, you know strong points, or uh, I can tell them. Yes. That is the best way. Right. Ask uh, ask everyone except your wife. I guess yeah. Right. So like uh, Vetri said, um, identifying the our own weakness itself is a big challenge, but identifying strength on our own is much more challenging. So one easy way is to ask others. So the other way, what the Shakti said is to uh, push you out of comfort zone. And like uh, uh, the Redigar said, the other one is to acknowledge and appreciate the strength when it is demonstrated by you. So what are the other ways? Which talent uh, brings you the success in your life or in your goals? So that also is identifying the strength, right? Yes. We analyze. Course, yeah. yeah, you analyze your life, which brought you success. That will give you an idea of what strength did you use to achieve that success or that goal. Yes. There is, uh, okay, in Kensho Satori, that's what is the result we get. That is yes. so, so what Malika ji is saying is that identify your high and low points in your life. Um, so those in those instances, what happened and how did you manage your life? That will give you the strength. Yes, thank you. No, sir. Nothing. Sorry. Uh, right. So basically reflecting on our life, on what happened in the past, right, can give us the idea of what are the strengths we have and how we utilized. So on a lighter note. Yes, sir. Uh, like Shakti, always uh, smiling is strength. Yes.
Ramaji, one more thought to add. Yes, my dear. Uh, to really find out the potential of strength, you have to choose the environment also. What kind of environment you are going to be, where you are going to be, who you are going to be. That that plays a bigger role when you are in the journey of exploring the strength or operating your strength. Just yeah, that's right. That's right. So there is some environment given to you, but you also have the power to change the environment, right? If you choose, if you look at the overall stuff and see that this environment is not conducive enough to use your strengths, then it is your responsibility to change the environment or change yourself. Yes, that's that's absolutely right. We don't need to limit ourselves to look at only uh, internally alone. We can also change the environment. Yes, thank you. Yes. Okay, so now that we understand this much, can you identify your strengths? Can you write write them down? Can you write five of your strengths? What are your strengths? So if you are not able to identify five strengths, then of course you can use this forum also to ask others. I'm sure they'll be able to tell you. But right now you write whatever you have identified and it is also a good way of validating with others. Later on to ask others and validate. So write down, note down five of your strengths. You may have more, of course, but at least five. Would anyone uh, like to share what are the strengths you identify? Can I, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, first one is I am always positive. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's my strength. Yeah. And I'm straightforward. Straight three is I believe in myself. And uh, fourth is I'm open to accept my whatever the defects. If somebody exposed me, I said, yes, I'm sorry. I will rectify myself. Right. They follow basic ethics in life. These are five strengths. Okay. Thank and you. I want uh, people to respond on this. Yeah, but exactly. So now, yeah, people with whoever, you know, we have been seeing Redigar so much. So based on our observations, uh, what are, we listen to his strengths. Is there anything else you would like to add? What are the other strengths which he might not have articulated here? Sir, can I? Yes, let me. Uh, the greatest uh, strength uh, I see in the radical is uh, curiosity to learn and improve further. Uh, that is, and uh, second greatest strength is is sincerity and obedience. Though he is senior to some of our people, he never hesitates to come, say sincerely, learn things. So tips are always said. It's not a different person goes to different places. When we come here, so uh, same way we saw to life also. So it's the greatest inspiration I have towards uh, Redikar sir. And he's uh, curious to learn and very sincere to whatever he is doing. It. <coughs> For you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, Redikar, you may want to note down. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, Chuck. This uh, additional to what Richard said uh, is so calm and point to the core. He will talk that I love about him. Always he will go and talk about the point. That I, that's his strength. Yeah, he calm and uh, focus on the on the essential. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Priya. Sir is very dedicated, and you know he always listens very carefully and understands things to the core and practices them. And I'm very, you know, I really want to be like him. He may start to just learn to listen or something, or then act with him. Yeah, he inspires me a lot. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Priya. Yes, Kunanji. Yeah, thank you, sir. What I have observed uh, when I am uh, listening, interacting with uh, Shri Prasad Reddy Garu is uh, he is uh, one of his strength is he is a, a courageous man. He has a courage. He doesn't have any inhibition, and he is willing to take action quickly. Because I have observed whenever sir is asking something, he is the first to raise hand. So he doesn't have any inhibition, no fear, no. nothing to a stop he just he is an action taker he is quick in taking action so i really salute and appreciate this is strength sir absolutely no my observation also same that initiative so his initiative is something really you know commendable he really takes the initiative and uh, courageous not afraid of the things and more importantly risk taking right So all these three things are great uh, strengths, sir. Ready, Garu. Like Konanji uh, said, I also observed all these three things. Yes, Abu Bakr. I I give you my observation about uh, Ready, Garu. Uh, is very simple and ample, and he can spread the happiness happiness with his sweet smile. Thank you. Simple, humble, happy. Yeah, smile. Yeah. By his uh, sweet smile, he's always uh, smiley in his face. It can spread the happiness to surrounding people. That the uh, message, you know, that the uh, vibration is energy is spreading by his sweet smile. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Abhijit. Okay. Yes, Vettri. Okay. Sorry to disturb. It is a little bit on a lighter note. Whoever is said all good words, <coughs> they will get one kilo Baisur Pagu directly from Hydra Patch. <laughs> right, Prem Gandhi sir, you want to say something? Uh, uh, My, uh, I control the five things. Yeah. First, they say in Hindi and next time talk in English. First, calm, growth, low, low, and calm. Always control. First, calm means bad habit, and growth means control the anger. Low means grading. Low means maximum attachment. Every person, and. Or uh, anchor, uh, control the ego, and the daily uh, control the five things. It is my strength. Great, that's that's amazing. So that's the kind of if that is achieved, I think that is the real the purpose of life is also achieved. Yeah, yeah. At the maximum. Yeah, and, uh, total life uh, control the uh, five things. It is my experience life. Wow, that's really great, sir. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, anybody else would like to uh, add to the strength what we observed of Prem Gandhi, sir? Yes, Nitin. Okay. Uh, uh, first, I think uh, for Mr. Betty, I would like to add. Um, okay. 
I am really impressed with his um, openness to learn and interact from people who are much younger to him. He, you know, his level of interaction uh, and the frankness or the equality of interaction clearly shows that he has no age bar bias in him. So that makes it very easy to interact with him, express, share with him, and take away from his sharings also. So I'd like to compliment thank you, thank him for you. that. Yes, yes. yes. Neeti ma'am, I never feel that I'm old. Yeah, you are always young. Uh, Sir, it is not a question of feeling old. It is a question of feeling equal of yourself and making others feel equal. It is a question of equality, not of age or uh, seniority. It's equality that you express. Right. Yeah. Thank no, you. it's not only the age. See, you are an industrialist and many of us are you know, some menial job. So, but you don't distinguish, you don't really you know, make any differences based on various aspects in life, whether it is age, status, um, X, Y, Z. So you don't make that uh, distinction. That's really great observation. Thank you. Um, yeah, so coming back to uh, Prem Gandhiji, I think, um, yeah, all of us have observed him. Uh, you know, one of the things is really he's very, uh, calm, quiet, and you know, absorbing. You know? He really listens to whatever is uh, you know, being discussed and he is immersed into what is going on. So that's my observation. That, that's the strength. He's really calm, quiet, and uh, absorbing everything and you know, being in the situation and you know, uh, absorbing everything. So that's what I observed. Uh, from the yes, Shakti. Yes, so Shakti. What I have observed always here, whenever the EMC session is going on, is present mode. He used to keep listening that uh, so intently. Always he will appreciate others. Whoever is doing the best, he will initiate and appreciate. That I love about him. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Right. Anybody else? Anybody else would like to? share anything about Prem Gandhiji or your own strength, what you noted now? Okay, complete, sir. <laughs> Today's complete life. Answer. Yes. I, I missed my strength in the uh, chat box during the time when others also uh, express yeah. values. Can you, can you say it? Yeah. I... First of all, I love people. And then uh, I'm, I'm a problem solver, thinking rationally over any problem. And I can make friendship very easily. I'm very curious enough to know more and more things. Every time I will be very cur uh, curious, which would be a a negative quality for others. They used to say that I am a childish uh, uh, quality, so that to be very, I am very curious. But yes, that is. I think I feel that is my strength. Curious enough to know more and more things. And uh, I think almost I listed that is. Uh, and also, I easily uh, looking for what I learned from my positive or negative experiences. So what, what is the lesson I learned? So that always I look uh, into my life. Uh, these are all the five qualities I think about myself. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Malika. Yes, curious, expressive, and participative. So those are some of the strengths I also observed, yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, so we can also ask one on one. Yeah, yes, Shakti. So Malika, ma'am, so she always curious to know what's going on. So she will always give a call if something is she didn't get it. She will give a call and get trying to get it. Always yeah. curious. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Shakti. And you are helpful. That is what I think uh, about your strength. Your help, your, the helping nature 
to help uh, people. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, yes, Abu Bakr, and then uh, Asanaji. Yeah, uh, about the Malika, ma'am. So, as she explained, it is uh, more than that. In my case, it's like my family friend. If I have any issue in my family, first call go to goes to Malika, ma'am, and she is whatever the busiest schedule she's having, she will respond immediately. What, if if I have asked for one solution, she will give ten solutions. So that's kind of uh, uh, people, uh, that's kind of the person, uh, Maliga ma'am, and very honest, very open, and hardworking. Also, you know, he, she is not thinking oh, I am I, I am senior, I am uh, he is junior is equal. But uh, Diti ma'am said, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And uh, I see that you are also curious enough to know more and more things, and you are continuously you are improving yourself uh, by reading more and more books. And uh, uh, you are, yeah, I'm I'm seeing that continuous improvement in your uh, learnings. That's what I can feel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abhukar. Thank you, Malika Ji. Yes, Asana Ji. Uh, I have come to four points. Uh, I am yes. very punctual. And whatever I do, I am perfectionist. And I make friends quite fast. And I'm very helpful. These are the points I have. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Edgar. The best thing is, Asina Ma'am is brave enough to share with us whatever she is facing in life. Hats up to her. Thank, thank you. Exactly, with so much of experience and everything else, she is more like, more like the, the approach is like childlike, no inhibitions. So that's amazing quality of Hasina Ji. Yes, Chuck. Yes, now, more uh, about uh, Hasina Ji is uh, uh, whenever she comes uh, uh, to the forum, we feel happy because uh, she's having that uh, learning tendency, improving herself at any age. That is also there. So, and also very happy when she uh, uh, start laughing in the laughing session. Uh, we, that uh, the the happiness within her uh, actually it uh, comes to us also the way she is. Thank you, thank yeah. you, Asana. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Shakti. Asana is so lovable, so sweet. I observed. Also, uh, she want to make her so positive always. If she doesn't know, she will approach people and trying to get it. That's a, such a good quality she has. She doesn't have any uh, age bash like, okay, I need to go and ask only these people. She never, she will go and approach anyone, try to make her positive. It's a good quality. Love you, Hasna Ji. Yeah. And she also appreciates where, wherever she sees uh, something good. She you know, doesn't fail to appreciate. Yeah. Yes, Vetri. Before Vetri, sir, one thing. I love your law for session, Hasina Ji. <laughs> Thank you, Sakti. Uh, I just want to add something to Hasina Ji's uh, discussion. Uh, Hasina Ji is a person, like, kind of an example. A subject is very real. Uh, sorry, I'm just missing my words. If consciousness can be raised and transformation is possible, she's an example. Because we have been seeing her uh, sharing from the right beginning, kind of a normal innocent sharing. Uh, she starts with, I can't understand, I don't know this, what you are talking about. And she, she's never uh, hesitated to express. 
but slowly i'm seeing it the subject is going inside and she's like now she speaks equal to any big trainer or a transformer who, who helps people to influence and transform and uh, that transformation we can visibly see and you are a live example of this transformation process uh, as in aji and uh, i strongly believe that you have so many things to contribute to our group and also all the people whom you are surrounding with and personal touch one thing i would like to share is uh, i always see you and have little bit of desire throwing to the universe saying that you should be in my close circle either like a elder sister if you don't feel aged <laughs> if you don't care i could say even mother <laughs> thank you thank you thank you that was lovely to hear thank you actually she can be like a little um, daughter also vitri <laughs> <laughs> and then if if in this uh, on a lighter note uh, if i get another baby girl during this vacation i put as as in her name yes thank you thank you vetri yes konan ji yeah on a serious note uh, uh what i have learned from hasina ji is uh, her strength one of the strength is very she is very uh, clear about her internal dialogue of not giving up so she has the conversation internally and she says that i am not going to give up that's that's you know very very uh, rare a strength uh, normally we do have the internal conversation and we are not aware of but she is completely aware of and she chooses not to give up and then she speaks out take action and do something so that's wonderful strength i have picked up from hasina ji so salute to you ma'am thank you thank, thank you, you so thank you thank you kunal so how about um, your strengths uh, vetri kunal and shakti have you listed down main to kunal ji go ahead kunal ji go ahead main to bada kamzor aadmi hu No, we, I, have, we have a big list for you. Go ahead. I leave it for some other day. It's, I also make a big list. Okay, you made it. Good. So, do you want to say it now or? Well, I'm still exploring actually, uh, but uh, I I don't want to share now. So maybe later. Okay. Yeah. So that's the yeah. That's fine. We'll do it uh, sometime later. Also. Yes, thank you, Chief. Now I'll speak about Kunain. He okay. has got a very powerful voice. Like he is like a spiritual leader. Like what he stay, uh, says, he says from the heart, and uh, it stays in the mind for a long, long time. And uh, generally, he even if I don't yesterday, I was traveling. and i couldn't join the meeting early but to his shyery i requested and i joined because uh, it has become a daily prayer like and another point i notice is he has something like uh, going spiritual like uh, he is seeking himself or doing something which is in a higher level like what we meditate and other things so i see that thing that uh, he is uh, reducing the gap between man and god like like uh, he is a power in himself so i wish him all the best and pray thank you thank you sir thank you great observation and could i yes as he as uh, venkatesh sir told Kunal sir has that powerful voice, which attracts first everyone, and also he respects everyone. Uh, in when in his session also, uh, respect each one's views. That is the uh, uh, sign of uh, good leadership. 
that's what i'm seeing in kunain sir and we all love you kunain sir <laughs> thank you so much yes thank you thank you malika ji yes well, let's, let's 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 shift to vitri ji sir of course today is you only kunain ji we will leave you <laughs> You know, where is the strength? Let me share now. Where is the strength? Is stop, there. stop, stop. Not at all, right? <laughs> uh, Rama ji, uh, I get one uh, metaphor, uh, which is uh, Pune ji. It's, it's a positive metaphor only. Uh, it says, "You all must have seen elephant. No? There are different versions of elephants. Elephant is strength, powerful. Uh, that's what the work we are doing here. It's very strength, powerful. It has got everything. But sometimes, no, without understanding it." it goes to some people send it it goes to every shop to pay for banana money that is the work we are doing here uh, we are not realize but what punain is punain is like a elephant in puram kerala puram festival elephant itself is a gigantic and big figure and it is been decorated in such a way that it takes the center of attraction though people see the temple the god above the main uh, elephant people love to see that elephant statue and it's coming the style and the gold in bearing every whole attention the whole crowd is towards that one elephant i didn't mean you that you are with weight and all nothing but i don't take it that sense <laughs> but but one word coming to me about talking to nine is like he is a, a important elephant in puram festival he yes he, he started to express that i got the opportunity to be with him in dubai uh, spend time with him drama ji also know it uh, he can coach it he is everywhere like this only he goes express his energy and light and people and he is the blessing to so many people and i am so happy that you are there in my life of connect or to others uh, not to stop keep going so time to close the session drama ji i want to add one more thing i could see uh, virtual uh, and uh, kunain sir both each love other very in in the heart uh, <laughs> from the heart so that is why when virtual uh, virtual and uh, kunain sir uh, talk each other and when they participate continuously in this session we all feel uh, happy and fun and and continue this we all like to uh, see your uh, love loving each other <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> soul soul brothers soul brothers yeah they are all soul brothers and vetivel i want to say one more uh, about uh, vetivel is uh, uh, he try to uh, bring that humorous in his uh, uh, talk and uh, it's not trained but i think it's it's his inborn nature his inborn nature is and his strength also there is the humorous in his uh, talk so that really i am uh, hats of you vetivel and also respect people and love people so and uh, the the way he talked to me also we other other than this also we used to talk each other that uh, that give me more strength thank you vetivel <laughs> thank you thank you thank you very much yes yes sir Sir Punit, sir, I will also tell a few words about you before you are leaving. Uh, what I have observed, uh, he is one of the pillar of our EMC as well as good to great. Always uh, he will go and uh, point to the core. He will always talk. Also, if somebody is going and diverting the topic to something else, he will pull everyone to the topic. Do that. Then clarity about. Uh, his life as well as uh, the topic whatever that i love about that also the his memory power i admired i tried to learn that one still i didn't achieve that always he will give summary about that whatever we have done that one i have learned now so thank you so much sir lot of things lot of things sir lot of take away from you thank you so much for inspiring directly and indirectly you are helping me thank you so much right thank you thank you shakti and of course there is lot more to discuss on uh, you know strengths of various people like you know shakti vetri and every one of us here uh, probably we'll do it in um, some other session 
so before closing the session, few more questions uh, for your reflection. Um, so we asked the question of what are your strengths? So I would also uh, request you to reflect on these things, right? So how did you use your strengths to help you and others in the past? And what are other strengths you may have, but not used so far? You may have other strengths, which you might not have discovered or used so far. Can you identify them as well? So how did you use your strengths to help you and others so far? What are the other strengths you may have but not used so far? How do you currently, as well as how will you in future, use your strengths to help you and others, right? So please reflect on these things. Of course, uh, had we had time, we could have explored this further and shared with each other. But the second question, if you keep it for us. Uh, just no. Yeah, okay. So first one is, what are your strengths, yes. which we have been identifying? Second one is, how did you use your strengths to help you and others in the past so far? The third question is, what are the other strengths you may have, but not used or identified so far. The fourth question is, how do you currently use or how will you use in future your strengths to help you and others? So please reflect on these questions as well. And with that, um, yes, um, uh, Kunain and others, over to you for your shares and then we'll close the session. Before go to that answer, uh, shall shall I uh, say that is the what I observed, Rama sir, here. Uh, Only, not one, today. One word. One word at least. Okay. Uh, one word. One word. Yeah. Yeah. Highly professional and knowledgeable person, and helping the whole world uh, with his uh, knowledge and uh, making that is the the whoever participate his session are really lucky and we are all uh, blessed with this, uh, with the Ramasan's uh, approach and the knowledge what we are getting from Ramasan, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Kunanji, please, you are sharing. Yes, sir. Uh, Shairi, I would request someone to translate to who can translate? Uh, let me request Abu Bakr Siddiqui today to translate. He is doing like this. Now you can, Abu Bakr, you can translate. It's a simple uh, shairi dedicated to all of us. Arz kiya hai ke jeet ki khatir bas junoon chahiye. Jeet ki khatir bas junoon chahiye. जिसमें उबाल हो ऐसा खून चाहिए जिसमें उबाल हो ऐसा खून चाहिए यह आसमान भी आएगा जमी पर यह आसमान भी आएगा जमी पर बस इरादों में जीत की गूंज चाहिए बस इरादों में जीत की गूंज चाहिए दिस इज फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस आई एम नॉट गुड इन दैट मच परफेक्ट इन हिंदी so goon and what is other <laughs> that all i don't know the meaning but understood the uh, summary to for, for the success we need that madness the eagerness mm -hmm. to achieve that and e even we can bring the uh, sky to down if we try that much uh, enthusiasm or de uh, determined and dedication we required in our goal to achieve that. Very good. You got the message. Thank you so much, Prabhu Bakar. Over to you, sir, Ramasi. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kunanji and Abu Bakar. Uh, thank you all. Uh, please reflect on all, all your strengths, the questions we uh, asked. So we'll all meet again tomorrow, 7, seven o'clock in the morning, India time. Thank you. All the best. 
use your strengths. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Stay blessed all. Bye-bye. God bless everyone. Great session. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you all. Would you like Thank to you. stay, Ramaji, for a moment? Yeah. Let's just stop recording. Yeah, you can stop. Yeah. Good